Are you looking to link up your Daedalus software wallet to an identical copy in your ROI? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's figure out how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to get our Daedalus software wallet and make an identical copy of it in your ROI. The way that we're gonna go about that is we're gonna use the recovery phrase that generated our public and private keys for our Daedalus software wallet. And we're gonna use that to restore a Uroi software wallet, which will result in the exact same public and private keys, resulting in an identical wallet, but on Uroi. If you're still a little bit confused on how public and private keys and wallets and everything all works together, check out our video where we break that down in detail. But if you feel like you're clear on that and now you wanna just see how to do the thing, let's jump in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna open up our Daedalus software wallet. The one that we're gonna restore, we see has a little bit over seven ADA, okay? Uh, what you're gonna to need to do now is track down the recovery phrase that was given to you when you created this wallet. We wrote it down on several pieces of paper. You should do the same. So get your pieces of paper and you're gonna need that for the next steps. If you don't have them handy, pause us here and come back when you have them. Okay, so assuming that you have them and that you know the balance and you wanna check some of the addresses just to be able to do like a sanity check, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install your ROI. If you haven't installed your ROI yet, come to cardano.org, go to individuals, click on your ROI wallet. From there, you're gonna to go to download and you're just gonna pick the browser that you're on and install. We're gonna skip the install process, but if you wanna see a little more detail on how to do that, check out our video on setting up a Uroi software wallet where we walk you through the full install process. It's pretty straightforward, but assuming that you have that done, let's open up Uroi. We already have a different wallet here, but what we're gonna do now is we want to bring over our Daedalus wallet and make a copy of it in Uroi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to add new wallet we're gonna click on Restore Wallet. We're gonna click on our, our Cardano Wallet. And now here's the thing. Your ROI, when you make a your ROI wallet, they give you a 15 word recovery phrase. But if you remember, when you created your Daedalus wallet, they gave you a 24 word recovery phrase. So they don't say it explicitly here, but what they're basically telling you is, do you want to restore this your ROI wallet from another your ROI wallet? Or do you wanna restore it from a Daedalus wallet? So we have a Daedalus wallet, so we're trying to do, so we're gonna click here. We're gonna call this, let's call this our, oh, here we go. <laughs> We've done this before. We'll call it our Daedalus port. And here we're gonna enter our recovery phrase, okay? So um, at this point, go ahead and enter your 24 words that were used to generate your Daedalus software wallet. We'll do the same, and then we'll pick back up from here. So go ahead and pause us, and we'll see you in a second. All right, so at this point, you should have entered your 24 word recovery phrase. It will have asked you to also enter a spending password. This one, if you would like, for just for your own memory, you can use the same spending password that you used on Daedalus, but it's not required. If you'd rather to feel more secure, you wanna use a brand new one, that's fine as well. Those two things don't have to be the same. That's just the way that within the given wallet, you're gonna be confirming that it's you to send transactions. But the only part that needs to match up is the recovery phrase. So if you've entered that, you've entered your spending password, it'll now say, Verify the checksum. This isn't necessarily relevant because you're going from your ROI, sorry, from data list to your ROI. Um, but the address, if you check the address here and you go to your addresses on data list, those should match. Now, the other thing we can do is let's click confirm. And when it takes us into our wallet, what we'll see is that here is our exact 7.11963 ADA, which is the exact balance of our data list wallet. So at this point now, our two wallets are linked. The important thing to keep in mind is that when I say that they're linked, it's not that like Daedalus wallet and your ROI wallet are linked together. It's that because they have identical public and private keys and identical associated addresses, they are indistinguishable from the perspective of the network. So now at this point that we have two identical copies of the same wallet, it's up to you what you'd like to do at this point. You can delete your Daedalus wallet or you can keep both. For some people, a common use case on why they want to restore from Daedalus to Uroi is because Daedalus is a bit too heavy on their machine and slows it down. So if that's the case, you can get rid of your Daedalus wallet, you can uninstall Daedalus completely, and now you can continue moving forward using only Uroi. The other option that's a common use case is that if you like using Daedalus for all of your desktop work, but you like the fact that your ROI has a mobile app, then you can load up your ROI on mobile, have your ROI be your mobile interface, and then have Daedalus be the one that you use on desktop. 
Where you go from here is up to you, but you're good to go. If you're still confused about how private and public keys work, check out that video we mentioned that walks you through it. And if not, check out one of our other recent videos. We'll see you soon.